Hi, in this video, we'll see how we can use Amazon Cloud Formation Service to automate uh, server and service deployment. So to start with, we click on services and we click on cloud formation. In cloud formation, we will create a new stack and we don't have any stack at this moment, as you can see on the screen. By creating a stack, we will tell um, AWS that we want to create a sample WordPress uh, website. And for that, we need a virtual uh, ins machine or an instance and the software that we need and everything that we need uh, we have seen uh, in previous tutorials that we need to separately create, uh, launch uh, EC2 instances and we need to install web server and we need to uh, man create the key pair and everything we needed to do manually. Here by using cloud formation and creating a stack we can tell AWS by using a template that we want to create this service and we want to use these, these resources. For example, we want to create a WordPress website and we the resources that we need a key pair, we need a, a virtual machine or virtual server, we need everything that we need. We can just tell AWS that this is what we need and AWS will automate that task for us. So for that first we click on create new stack and here we start the wizard of creating the stack. So here you, we have different uh, options. Uh, uh, in this uh, uh, tutorial we will use existing template from AWS. So if we look here select a template a sample template we can select uh, from drop down list there are different templates i'll come back to this after a while and we can also upload a template if we have made created or created our own template uh, we can upload um, or we can specify an amazon s3 template url to point to the template we will discuss in detail about templates um, in some other tutorial. For the time being, a template is that file, the text file, where we give specific instructions where we just simply tell AWS that, okay, this is what we want, these are the resources that we want, and some other parameters. So we give here, instead of creating uh, an instance, instead of installing web server, we just tell AWS that we want to create um, an instance, we want to install a web server, we want to use these resources, and we want to achieve that. And we just give the instruction and the whole thing is automatically taken care of by AWS. So let's see how it does. Uh, so once again, for the time being, uh, we understand template is the instruction file where we tell what AWS should do for us instead of uh, doing it by uh, ourselves instead of doing it manually. So let's select um, an existing template from here. Let's say we are looking for um, a single instance and we want to create a WordPress blog. Now As you can see that the moment I selected this template, the URL automatically um, populated here. One thing we must be uh, careful when we uh, manually input any uh, URL, if we uh, were specifying any URL here, that this URL should uh, uh, must be in the region where you are working at this moment i'm working uh, asia pacific southwest uh, southeast region 2 and uh, if you look carefully that aws automatically selected uh, the template from the same region it, it must be 
in the same region as you can see here and here if they do not match then it will um, yield an error and you won't be able to create this tag however so we selected the wordpress um, blog that's what we want to create and uh, i will click on next now here now we are uh, we have uh, four shapes here if you follow my cursor and we are on the second step specified detail is tag name uh, let's say test wordpress stack you can give any name but uh, it's always better to give up useful name so db password um, i'll give some password Let me keep that password secret. You need to choose your own password. And I gave the root password. And you can see the description here that the database name was uh, populated by, uh, by, I'll keep the default one. I supplied um, the db root password and db password, database password. And now I need to uh, select the username. Let's keep it as, uh, you cannot see here, but uh, I gave the username as user, U-S-E-R. And instance type. Okay, um, let me choose T2 micro. It's up to you, depending on your requirement, you can choose. T2 micro is the one I'm choosing. And key name, you need to have existing key pair that we, we have seen in some earlier uh, tutorials how to create key pair and you will see that for this region this is the key pair that we have which is automatically um, came in the drop down list so I'm selecting my key pair and, if, and uh, I'll keep it as a default setting because I want to access it from anywhere and uh, now I'll click next We can create tags here for um, our own convenience. It is not necessary to create, but the way we created uh, tags in EC2 instances we can create here. So we can probably say that um, stack WP, for example, or maybe is a chest stack uh, I am role um, we will leave it for the time being and um, in the tutorials where we cover I am uh, we will see in detail what is I am for the time being um, we will leave this as this is optional and we won't worry much about I am we we'll learn about I am in relevant tutorials Rollback triggers and everything I'll keep uh, as uh, default. As we learn more and more, we can come back to see the advanced options. Uh, but for the time being, I will uh, just leave them. I'll click next. And here you see the review of the template and everything. Um, you can also estimate the cost and after reviewing if everything is fine if we're happy with uh, all the settings that we have created which is uh, okay for me i'll just click create and now here we see it is not an empty anymore on the cloud formation uh, dashboard this is my stack and as you can see uh, the creation is in progress it will take some time to have the stack created we'll we'll see uh, from this status so while um the creation is in progress let's look into some of these uh, tabs as you can see here the status a creation is in progress and 
if we go on overview, we can see an overview what the name of the stack is and uh, other descriptions as we didn't the those optional uh, parameters that we did not specify uh, coming as uh, blank outputs is not available yet but later on we'll see that here we'll have the link to our wordpress website that we're creating by using the template um, resources in this stack we are creating a wordpress website and for that we need the resources and uh, we have seen in our ec2 tutorial that we uh, when we create an instance we mention or we specify the security group we uh, have seen that we uh, used key pair we mentioned that key pair and here you can you will see all the resources that we will use for this stack um in this case the creation of a web server security group the security group is uh, complete and the web server instance creation is in progress and this is what is you see the instance id and events is where we can see what is going on while uh, the stack is being created and by now as you can see the status has been changed that create complete if uh, for some reason it could not be completed then uh, we would get uh, 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 some other uh, status uh, it would show and failed status so here you can see um, the date where, when I'm uh, creating the stack at the time my time zone and the creation uh, complete or failed in this case we don't have any failed status so you can see from events tab now uh, this tab is something that we said we will uh, learn in some other uh, tutorial but for the time being template this is the file where we instructed aws that okay these are the things that we need and do it automatically we don't want to do it manually so here um for example um we have parameters we uh, where we needed a key and also we in this template in this file we have the what type of instance we need and ssh location for example how we are going to access and wordpress database and user and and so on so all the resources we need all the parameters that we we would require uh, to create this stack uh, for the wordpress blog site and the resources that we will be using um, everything that we specify here and uh, for the time being uh, that should uh, suffice for us uh, to talk about templates so uh, we won't worry much um, at this moment for the time being as uh, we have seen that and uh, we're discussing that uh, template is the source file which where we have the instructions from instances from resources to parameters security groups everything that we needed to create the stack and these are the instructions that we use and tell AWS that oh, hey, this is these are uh, these are what we need. Please create uh, all this automatically. And here, the parameters. If you um, as as you can, you have seen in our previous step uh, where we have mentioned. Uh, some parameters like database name, your, your password, uh, database username, and other parameters you can see here. Tags, we created that tag so you can see everything here and uh, all the details about the stack we have just created. And as uh, we, we used this template, um, the ready made template, we can say 
and when we fully learn um, AWS and cloud formation, we will be able to modify a existing template or we can create our own template. However, if I go on the overview and as uh, we have seen, it, it gives us uh, a quick summary. And at this point, as that tag is created, this is the tab is important for us for the time being. Here we have the URL for the, the services and resources that we have created by creating this stack. So we used a template where we said uh, we need a WordPress blog website. Do everything that you need to create that blog. Now this is in output. We have our external link. Let me click on that link. So once we click on that link, we see that the WordPress installation will uh, start. And um, obviously this has nothing to do with AWS. This is all about WordPress. You need to know WordPress and how to configure it and to create a WordPress website. So for the timing, let's say that um, the site title I'm going to give, let's say um, my Super computer. Okay. Username. Um, let me keep it as a user and password once again. Let's say this is the password I'm giving, and it is a strong password. I can hide or I can see. Um, so you know the secret uh, I gave the password and here you need to specify an email address and uh, in this case um, I can use um, my email address and since this is a test site we can discard search engines from my indexing this site so that's fine and now we can click on install WordPress so the WordPress has been installed we can now log in so I will give the username and I will give the password that I have selected I will log in and this is my admin dashboard um, so we have installed WordPress now I will not do anything much here if, if you know WordPress you can just administer your site and you can do whatever you want with your WordPress I will just log out from here and I'll close this. So we have installed WordPress. Now let me click on this uh, link uh, for the WordPress blog site that we have created by using this tag once again. Now you will see the website. Uh, if you can remember, I gave just the title, um, my supercomputer. So this is your, but th this is how by using a stack, we can create uh, different sort of services. Uh, here I have created uh, just a simple uh, WordPress blog site. Now um, it's time for us to clean up this uh, stack because uh, this is for um, educational purpose. So I don't need to keep this. Um, and if we don't need to keep any resources, it is always better to clean up uh, to ensure that it does not cost any um, incur any unexpected cost. So the as the last step of this tutorial, I will um, clean up this uh, stack, which is uh, simple. I'll click on actions and just delete the stack. It will ask for a confirmation. I'll click on yes, delete. And as you can see, the status has been changed. 
delete in progress and once the deletion um, process is done you will see since I don't have any more stack this is the only stack I had so it will take me back to the screen where it will um, show that there is no stack and uh, it will ask us to create a new stack so we'll go back to the screen where we started uh, this tutorial and it takes some time to delete the stack and uh, you can again by clicking on events you can monitor the progress so once it has been uh, been deleted we will go back to the initial screen where we started uh, creating a stack in this uh, video tutorial So now uh, after a while, as you can see that uh, I didn't have, a, I had just one stack. So now it's showing there is no stack um, on my CloudFormation dashboard. So that is how we can create a stack and we can create services. Just to show you quickly before we um, uh, end this tutorial, I'm clicking on create new stack, uh, select a sample template you have different kind of template lamp stack ruby on rails stack wordpress block the one that we used in this tutorial and also you have some some other stacks um uh, you, you learn more about uh, different uh, templates or different services as um, you, you keep going with the the tutorials and uh, there are a lot of uh, templates available on Amazon or web uh, AWS website you can use and uh, modify them and you can also um, upload them so that is how we use um, cloud formation to automate tasks and uh, by automating ta uh, the task by creating a stack, uh, life becomes easier. Thank you.